Oh. Hi, how are you? I need to scan your pass also. Sure. I have to scan your pass. Wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> keep in the shade, keep in the shade. In the back there. Okay, I'll try this now. Okay. Yeah, and then your pass. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Michelle, like what? You were working slingshot yesterday. Now you're back here again. Yeah, I'm only there on like Thursdays and Fridays now. <laughs> are they gonna? Are they like cross training you in all departments, or is this like a? No, just rides because they're. Short. They're short. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that. Um. By the way, my brother, my dad says you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. I actually did tell him yes. You you told him about? Yes, oh wow, that's so it. funny. All right, enjoy the day. Have fun. It's packed. <laughs> is it packed? Not really, yeah, right? It's pretty busy, but it's all right, great. Thanks. That's my neighbor. Her dad sold me this truck. And you guys saw her in the video from yesterday. She was operating a slingshot. So now she's over here in the parking lot again. I don't know. She moves around a lot. All right, what is going on, guys? Officer O'Leary here, back again at Six Flags Great Adventure. We got ourselves a nice preferred spot up here in the front. No one up here at all. Well, there's a few cars, but not nearly as bad as the regular parking lot. Well, it's definitely a lot busier than yesterday. I'm just gonna park right up here. Woo. All right, we're in the park. Look at this gargantuan gorilla. Something weird happened a minute ago. See, if you have a water bottle, it needs to be either sealed or completely empty for you to be able to bring the bottle into the park. Obviously, because people could put anything in these bottles. You could put alcohol in them, or you know, well, that's what mostly they're worried about. People bringing alcohol in the park, so. You can't bring any full water bottles. So I go through security and the, the kid's like, you have to throw out the empty water bottle. And I'm like, I do? I didn't know that. But then the guy who was behind him overheard and uh, he corrected the kid. I guess I guess he was new and didn't really know the policies. That's okay. It happens a lot here. There's always new people being hired. So you have to expect a little inconsistency as far as security and other things go, especially food service. I find food service to be extremely inconsistent inside the parks. Sometimes you'll get a lot of fries, sometimes you'll get a little bit, you know, your burrito will be the size of a Taco Bell burrito, or it'll be gargantuan. I don't know, there's all types of consistency things going on here, but it's all good because it's such an awesome park, I really don't care. I love this place to death. But there is quite the line for food at some of these locations. That, oh my gosh, that's Primo's over there? Oh boy. Alright, maybe we'll go a little bit off the beaten path to get some food. I'm not even sure where to go, really. I was thinking about getting a Belgian waffle, but I don't know about that right now. It might be a little bit too busy. Sugar Shack's probably mobbed. Not sure though. Obviously. Let's go over and check. I'm inside the GA Cafe right now, and I'm looking for cinnamon buns. Last season, we were in here, they were over on those, those warmers. Those warmers right over there, but uh, apparently they don't have those warmers set up yet. I don't know. I want a, I want a cinnamon bun. Gosh darn it. <laughs> it's all good. I could settle for a churro, but I want something for, I don't know, I, a cinnamon bun's not really breakfast, but it's something toward breakfast. I guess the second best option is probably a Belgian waffle, but I don't know how long this line is. Not too bad. There's somebody up on the sky coaster and they're not pulling the cord. There they go. <laughs> the operator, he was like, pull the cord. <laughs> That's great. I can understand why somebody would be a little bit hesitant to pull that ripcord. It's a pretty scary ride, I'm not gonna lie. So right now we're gonna head over to the boardwalk. I'm gonna see if a pork roll sandwich is available over at the Garden State Grill. Normally, or at least last season and the season before, they had a pork roll and cheese sandwich. Hi Casey! Hey. Do you remember my name? I don't. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Sean. Sean, nice to meet you, Sean. That's exactly what you said yesterday. I didn't know, I didn't know. I didn't it's know. okay, it's okay. I, I, bye. She's really nice. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try for the pork roll and cheese sandwich. It's not a pork roll egg and cheese. I prefer to have the extra egg in there, but it's all good. Alright, garden steak grill time. Let's see what the menu looks like. Last month they only had a few options. I remember they only had a cheeseburger, a uh, what was it, a cheeseburger, chicken nuggets and fries, and a couple other items. Let's see if anything's changed. No, it looks like the same menu offerings as it was when it opened in the, in the beginning of the season. That's okay. <laughs> Everyone was looking at me really funny when I walked in there. Okay. Oh, they opened up these guys. A load of hot dogs. Another snack stand. Sorry, I'm like focusing in on the umbrellas here. Yeah, we got uh, funnel cakes and ice cream. Some regular snacks. Looks like a couple of the options have been crossed off. 
I can't tell what those are. They have waffles. Is there a waffle stand here? I don't remember this ever being open. And you got loaded hot dogs over there. Well, because there was a line at Sugar Shack and there aren't too many breakfast options available right now at the park, I settled with the chicken tenders. They're still amazing chicken tenders, but I really wish they had more breakfast options so that way I wouldn't have to settle for this. Because, I don't know, this isn't really a very healthy breakfast. Of course, I don't want to spend my money before I get to the park since I already have the dining plan. So it'd be really convenient if Six Flags added a lot more dining options for breakfast. That's just my opinion, though. Let me know what you guys think. Really, really, really good quality chicken. I love the chicken tenders here. Anyway, I'll try to find something for a snack maybe. I, I really want to get on some rides too though, but it kind of looks like there's some line. They call this the wild walkway. I'm going around uh, the Safari Discovery is experience thing. It's a show in here. I just have like markers, just the wild walkway. I don't know. That doesn't lead anywhere. Kind of cool actually i like this little walk through because you get to see the animals and stuff over here and i think you can actually feed goats i don't know this is somebody told <laughs> it's all this bamboo here it's from king to ka it's crazy how it just spread like that okay you can take a quick look at the animals back here there's the pig I caught a glimpse of this guy yesterday. Look at this. He's like grating out all the sand in here. I don't know if that's him or not. That's his little poop corner. You gonna take a dookie? There he goes. Okay. You can hear El Toro back here. Oh yeah. What's that? Oh, all right, thank you. You asked me if I had any animal questions. I'll definitely think of some. If you guys want to post in the comments some animal questions I can ask her next time I come in, that'd be great. Look at this guy. I guess over there is uh, goat feeding. So you can like feed goats. I don't know. There's not really any line. Uh, might as well do it, I guess. Let's go feed some goats. <laughs> Oh, that's well. cool. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, um, get to buy, to oh, get into coasters. Yeah, it? $3. $3? Yeah, and coasters and candy. Oh, okay. Coasters and candy. Alright. Coasters and candy. Candy and coasters. Okay, so it's $3. We're not going to do it today, but maybe eventually. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I thought she was going to let me do it for free. I didn't know that they actually charged to do that. That should be something that they let us do for free. I don't know. No big deal. Anyway, it's like coasters and candy. Up the other side by El Toro. What I'm doing over here. I'm gonna check out the uh, totally chicken chicken uh, cook, totally chicken chicken over here to see if uh, there's a line. So I want to get a milkshake. What a freaking feast. Quite the busy day for food. Every food place that I've gone to so far has either a big line or a somewhat short line divided between like two or three windows, but every place seems to be really busy today. It's pretty crazy stuff. Toro's running both trains, it looks like. Maybe I'll get on that. I'm gonna go over actually. I'm gonna check on the wait and see what the wait time and wait time looking like. 
think I'm having a stroke. Can't speak right now. Holy crap. El Toro is a walk-on right now, which is crazy. But dispatching trains like every minute is really good. So operation is really nice right now. Dispatching about a train a minute here at El Toro. That's that's really good. here over at the, uh, it's called the Golden Kingdom Adventure Outpost. I always forget the name of the section of the park because it's just such a, like, a, such an oddly themed, oh, nailed that bubble. It's such, like, an oddly themed area, I don't know. The Funnel Cake Factory over here, I actually haven't checked out the menu. Oh, they have the Flavor Burst Ice Cream over here, too. That's cool. I didn't realize that. We could have came over here for Flavor Burst Ice Cream before. That's good. That's good to know. Looks like they have some of the same flavors that they have at the other location. I think uh, maybe Sugar Shack has more options? I'm not sure. I think at Sugar Shack they said they had like 15 or 20 and right over there they only have 8. I don't know. <laughs> Just taking a look over there. Actually, we might... Nah. Yeah, maybe we'll wait in that line. Looks like they have two windows open. Just maybe we'll get some soft serve. So you can add to the list of uh, food service funny mishaps. Not really a mishap, but I ordered a, a sundae and a little lady came out with one of these on a cone. I didn't say anything back, I just took it. I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> but it's definitely not what I ordered. I asked for a sundae and I was gonna get the toppings and everything. But uh, she just didn't even like hear me, I guess. I don't know, that's okay. I just noticed here over at the park map, you guys can see exactly what rides are sponsored by what. So over here you've got Skull Mountain sponsored by Takis, and then uh, Skyway is sponsored by MMs. And then all the way down here you've got Nitro that's sponsored by Snickers and Twister, which is Twix. So. It's kind of crazy, they've always had these sponsorships going on, but I wasn't actually uh, familiar with which rides had what sponsorships. Like, I don't know, I've never seen them drawn out on a list like that. The arcade over here is still closed. It looks like they're taking all the machines out of it. You guys can see the shocker machine right there, where we did one of the first vlogs of last season. We got uh, Brandon's friend AJ to do that shocker machine, and uh, now this whole building is just abandoned. It looks like they're just tearing it apart from the inside. You guys can see tile removals taking place right over here by the door. Or, yeah, that's they're removing these tiles, I think. I'm not sure. It's really hard to tell what's going on in here, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of work being done. Not sure exactly what they're doing with this building yet, but we're gonna find out in the near future, I guess. Hanging out over here by the lake, we're gonna walk around the abandoned arcade, and we're checking out right over here. Look at this, guys. There's a family of baby geese. How cute is that? Isn't that adorable? All right, enough of the geese, we have to keep walking. We're wasting too much time here. I haven't gotten on a single ride yet, and I've already been here for over an hour. But isn't that just adorable? They're so cute. The teacups over here. From a distance, the teacups, they look like they're spinning really, really fast, but when you go up close to them, Ah, well, hold on a minute. Maybe they are spinning really fast. Because I remember that one day me and Brandon were watching them and they it didn't seem like they were going too fast. And now, it seems like... Maybe it's not moving fast, or maybe it's just my imagination. But it definitely seems to be moving at quite a decent clip today. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just seeing things. Let me know in the comments. Is this the normal speed? I just put my glasses on because it was getting sunny out and I noticed there's like a huge smudge on one of the lenses and uh, apparently I spilled some flavor burst ice cream on them. I mean they still work just fine but wow like imagine if that like dripped inside and like screwed up all the electronics that would suck. Anyway yeah we're over. In the back behind the uh, flash passes extended queue line into this holiday in the park area. It's gonna be uh, pretty awesome this Christmas. Joker has a little bit of a wait today. Not too bad, it's probably about a 15 or 20 minute wait. 
kind of hard to gauge it. I've only actually been on the Joker maybe five or six times. But yeah, we're gonna head right in the flash pass and get my one scaly. Skip the line pass. I also want to check out this uh, snack cart over here. I know we saw it before in the last video, or two videos ago, actually. All right, I just got my once daily flash pass. I got it for King Dakar because it's got like the longest wait in the park. Besides Safari Off-Road Adventure, I'm sure. I'm sure Safari Off-Road Adventure has the longest wait, but anyway, we got it for Cobb because that's way more exciting. So we're gonna get over there to that, but first we need to get changed to buy a locker. See, the lockers are a little bit flawed. They don't take quarters or any change. They only take credit cards, singles, and I think $5 bills, but I'm not 100% on that. I don't even know if they take $5 bills. I think it might only be singles. Anyway, long story short, I only have a $10 bill. <laughs> so when I was in Flash Pass, I asked them if they could give me change, and they said no, you have to do a transaction to open the register. And that's how a lot of places work. You have to buy something for them to open the register. So I moved on, I went out to the Villain Cafe across from the Flash Pass headquarters, and they told me the same thing, that they had to open the register. So. We're gonna head into the Emporium and pick something out. Be a bag of M&Ms? I don't know. Something pretty cheap. I can't afford to buy anything crazy. Or, you know what? I have an even better idea. No. No, you know what? We pretty much have to get candy. I only have $10. So I was able to get change inside there. I bought myself some Mentos gum. But as I was at the register, there was a magnet on the side of the register that caught my eye. And Jason has showed me this magnet before. I believe they're discontinued. They don't sell them in the store anymore. But I got myself one of these. It's a fridge magnet. But it's got the old school Great Adventure logo with the stars going around the rainbow and the old Great Adventure font. Check out that. This is a really cool magnet. It cost $6, but I got my 35% discount. So it only ended, ended up costing me like three something. Totally worth it, and yeah, I don't know if you can get this magnet in the park anymore. I just kind of got it because I saw it there, and I didn't see it anywhere else. The lady in the register like, I've never seen this magnet before. So I was like, hey, can you ring it up? Sure enough, I had a barcode right at the back of it, so she was able to get it for me. Really, really awesome. So right now, we're going to head over toward King Dakar, and I'm going to grab myself a locker, and uh, I'm go ride that. All right, we're over here by King Dakar. Turns out I didn't actually have to walk through the Safari Discovery place at all because the pathway here is open for the first time in like the last five years. This is open. It's, it's never open. What the hell? Oh my gosh. I'm actually amazed right now that we can walk through here. What? I remember at the Q&A at Winter Adventure last season, we asked about this pathway here. And he said that once they develop this area a little bit more, they'll open it back up again. Wow, this is open. This is crazy. Speak over the fence here into Bowen's Jungle Land. This is, uh, used to be a kids area. Definitely very abandoned now. You can just make out some construction going on here behind this bamboo. I believe this is part of one of the fright mazes. I'm not really sure what maze is. It's, uh, it might be called Bloodshed. I think that's part of Bloodshed. But yeah, this whole area has not been seen by the public in many years, and it's finally reopened again. Just for our enjoyment. This is really exciting, guys. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is open right now. I walked by this yesterday, or I walked by the gates for it yesterday, and uh, they were still closed like normal. But, oh my god, they reopened it. I'm still amazed. A lot of these people are just walking around, and they're like, they have no idea. Do you remember when the last time this path was open? No. <laughs> Nobody knows. Look at this theming over here. Just sat abandoned for so many years untouched or unseen by the human eye or the public eye i should say and now it's reopened for all of us to enjoy including the tigers normally these viewing areas were inaccessible making these tigers unviewable but now you can just walk right back here and just look right at them through the window they could do a better job at cleaning these windows it's like disgusting <laughs> But since they just reopened it today, I'm giving them a break. I can't believe that this is open right now. I am amazed. Plenty of people taking advantage of this new cut through. Also, it looks like there used to be a soda machine or something right there. It's like a blank spot in the ground. This is awesome. Now people won't get lost when they're trying to go to King Dakar or El Toro. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. I understand to most of you that this isn't a big deal at all, but to me, this opens up a brand new shortcut between King Dakar and El Toro that hasn't been opened in many, many years. I do remember walking down there as a kid, like maybe 10 years ago, 
but that was a long time ago. Yeah, I can't even remember. Somebody post down in the comments, let me know the last time that that path was open to the public, and I'll give you a cookie. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, we're over by Toro now. See? See how easy that was? So we're gonna actually go around the pathway again to head back toward Ka. So along with the tigers, and the weird snack cart, and all the steaming, you've got these carvings here, which haven't been seen by the public in many years as well. So some of these, some of these carvings can be found in uh, King Ka's old abandoned key line that are hidden as well that you can't find. But yeah, those uh, those carvings are like a bit of an Easter egg. But this is so cool. Is there a carving on this? No, that's a tree. <laughs> I was getting ready to look at that tree to see if there's a carving. But yeah, look at this. We've got this whole <laughs> staircase. I'm just gonna walk up here because you can. It's finally walk up a bowl. You can go up and down the staircase at our own free will. We get a pretty good view of Ka. Actually, you can see Ka really nice. Toro. This is the place to take pictures. Come on. We're gonna go get in line for the sea lion show. Yes. This path hasn't been opened in like 10 years. This is the I first know. day. Isn't that crazy? Got some more carvings over here. This one looks like a bird. Ooh, very nice. And then back out into the Golden Kingdom. Oh, here's a cool one. This is a really cool one. Look at that. Fancy. See the jar going right now. Probably gonna open up this snack stand in a relatively near future. These old flash pass engines right over here no longer in use for the flash pass now you have to go all the way up to where the lockers are and get scanned in over there which is kind of annoying it doesn't seem to have much of a line i'm not too sure though sometimes they hold people back in the queue so i don't know if anything that's all the way we have to wait in Let's go. Kai's getting ready to launch. There it goes. See how fast it goes over today. Yesterday it was shooting over the top. Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's get a locker. But first, let's get a look at the queue. Then you eat it. It's really not too bad. It's probably about a 45 minute wait. Maybe less. Maybe more like a half hour. How you doing? Hi. You don't have any phones or keys on you, right? You're all set. All right, thanks. We get the green train today. <laughs> it looks really fresh, like it never gets used. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad to go to you, you know, wasn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Dan, roll back, roll back, roll back. I'm kidding. Oh my god, wait, oh, oh, that was close, that was close. Teal's been the closest all day. Really? Yeah, we're in the green one. Oh no, we are in the teal one. Is this teal or green? No, it's teal. <laughs> Have you ever been on this before? Like four years ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. I rode it three times yesterday. No, twice yesterday. If we're lucky, we won't make it over the top. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They better roll back. <laughs> Hi, Chandler. Oh my God! Roll back. No. Roll back. We were so close! <laughs> There's maintenance right there. They're gonna have to go reset the ride now. <laughs> yeah, Chandler! Holy crap! <laughs> Damn it, we were so close! <laughs> oh my god. Right! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> we were so close! <laughs> it's happened to me twice before, but that was, yeah, about... Are you gonna have to roll us back first? Well, shit. <laughs> it's still rolling back, but such at a slow pace. Here we go. Back into the station. Or, yeah. It's like a manual thing. Somebody's like hitting it with like a switch. <laughs> that wasn't even close to going over. <laughs> Remember last Saturday it rolled back like six times or something like that. I caught it on video. I was over by Toro. Definitely really fun to watch and especially be on when it happens. I wish we were on that train. Yeah, that would be fun. Damn. Whee! Yeah, Whee! roll back! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wait! Oh man, I'm gonna have to talk to him about this. He's gonna. Oh, okay. They said transfer reset, so they're gonna move the transfer track over and they're gonna reset it on that side of the station.
Yeah, green train! Woo! Dan! Uh, one train off, man! <laughs> What happened with me when it happened? They roll you back into the station, they ask you if you want to get off, they release the restraints. So whoever wants to get off will get off, and then whoever wants to stay can stay. Wait, no, this, oh yeah, that is green. I, oh wow. That was kind of a, it, there was a pretty strong gust of wind right when it happened. I'm not saying that was the direct cause of it. It could have been the weight distribution. There could have been some heavier, some heavier set people toward the back maybe. I don't know. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so you're just going to send it empty? What happened to the old days where you used to just let people stay on board? Oh. Since it's technically inmate, it's, we would have to, as attendants, recheck it ourselves. Oh, it okay. I get that now. Yeah, because the last time I was on a rollback train, I just stayed in the same seat. They asked if everyone like wanted to stay on. That was like 10 years ago. <laughs> Things have changed. That, that station's now abandoned. Or just maintenance track. What do they have to do now? Oh. It's fine. <laughs> it did, didn't it already happen once today? No, this was the first train? Wow. I caught that. I was right behind it. That's crazy. I caught it last weekend, too. Yeah, I did. I was one train off. <laughs> if I'd gotten here five minutes earlier, I would have. <laughs> What a crazy experience, man. Have you ever been on a rollback? I've tried to force them a few times. The guests are here, it doesn't work. Nah. You, if, you, if you weight it heavy toward the back, sometimes the conditions are right. I noticed it was kind of close before, so I ran over here. <laughs> That's crazy. I know the highlight of my video. <laughs> That's great. All right, they're sending the empty train now. Let's see if it makes it over now. <laughs> get up there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they hit the boost button. <laughs> yeah, now we're going to get nice air time at the top. <laughs> It's a nice extra 10 miles an hour. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, so now they're on the teal train, which is what Dan said was the rollback train. Uh, so maybe they might roll back again? <laughs> no, I don't think so. If the boost button's on, it's not gonna roll back. Alright, let's try this again. Let's see. It's the same train of riders. Will it roll back? <laughs> Now everyone's cheering. <laughs> they don't know about the boost button.
All right, now hopefully we'll roll back. <laughs> That would really suck for people waiting in line if we roll back too. <laughs> How fast to go? 128 miles an hour. 135 now. Oh my God, two. One. That was awesome. How was that ride? Good. <laughs> <laughs> it was like my skin was going off. I'm stapled really bad though. Oh my god. <laughs> what a ride. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go again if I can find an empty seat. Alright, so we just got off King to Cut. Like, what? You guys saw that, right? There was another another rollback. We just saw one last Saturday, and then it just happened again right in front of our eyes. Like, what? That's freaking unbelievable. I can't believe that just happened. But yeah, we had to wait like 10 or 15 minutes for maintenance to come and like bring the ride all the way back. It's pretty crazy stuff. But man, if I was on one train ahead of that, we could have gotten a POV of that. Wow. That would have been really crazy. Eventually, I hope to get a POV of it. A lot of you guys already know. It's happened to me twice already. But that was years ago, and have not gotten the experience again. Alright, so we just met up with Gordon and Eric, and now we're heading over to Tor or Nitro. I, would, I almost said El Toro. I always do that. I always mix up El Toro and Nitro. I think it's because they both have RO at the end, I really don't know. Alright, we'll see how it's next. Porky! <laughs> Yeah, I haven't been over on this side of the park at all today. This is the first time I'm being over here at all. We're gonna go over and check out the Cyborg at some point. Alright, it's nitro time. I think you said that it's like a 15 minute wait or something. Also, they turned uh, Cold Stone Creamery into another Rita's location over here. So that's really nice. So now we have two Rita's locations within the park. There's one over in the Boardwalk area, and then now there's another one over here behind Batman. So you can get your Rita's all over the place. And uh, get this nice little drink refill thing. You can walk around the back of this. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're just gonna leave our crap here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's up, kid? Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah, operation. No stacking. No stacking. <laughs> you guys are you're doing better than Kyle. Okay. Look at go. Oh, mine's inside, I guess. Everybody put their hands up. Hands up. 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 Whoa, look at him go. <laughs> that is efficiency. That? No. That? Yeah. You look like the first person I met today. He's taller than me. Really? Yeah, I'm 6'2. I'm six one and a quarter. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only 13. Yeah. Okay. Skate clear, clear. All right. Okay. No stacking. No stacking. Yeah. <laughs> Operation is doing good today. Wow. Look at that. The other train just got back. That is perfect. That's perfect timing. Are you going? You ready? You ready, Eric? Yeah. Come in and have a chug. Oh, they're doing some type of show in the arena. There's a bunch of people in there. Yeah, I wonder what they're doing down there. I think we're near the top, Anna. Alright. Here we go. Back through! Could use a little maintenance though. Yeah, they just refurbished the <laughs> Yeah, that thing vibrated quite a bit. B and M rattle going on there. I don't even know. Is that like a rattle? Yeah, it's a B and M rattle. That's a rattle. Okay. It's because um, I think the metal beam inside the gigantic uh, square beam inside is hollow. Oh. You can actually feel the sound. Really? It's so attracting the move a little bit. I gotta get going after this. I'm actually meeting yeah, up with Jason. Right, right. Hold down. Hold down. Oh, yeah. Right, that man just stopped on the lift. <laughs> I was at the photo thing and I just heard it click. Batman stuck on the lift. Batman stuck on the lift. Oh. <laughs> hey. 
Da wenn es wächst. Got stuck on the lift hill. Shout out to Gordon and Eric. Thank you guys so much for meeting up with me. It was really cool. It's fun. And uh, yeah, right now we're gonna meet up with uh, Jason, I think. I'm not sure exactly where he is, but I think he's in the park somewhere. Also, that lady's smoking a cigarette right there behind me, sitting on that bench, and she's not in a smoking area. Where's security at? Come on, Buster. I'm kidding. <laughs> Just got off the phone with Jason. Apparently he's not able to come today, which sort of sucks. That's okay. No big deal. Someone over here racing the monster trucks. Pretty awesome stuff. Rarely do I ever see anybody using these. So that's cool. It looks like we uh, identified what the event is over here in the uh, Batman and Robin stunt show. We've got music in the parks. It's an award ceremony of some sort. I guess they're having a big music event going on today. Pretty cool stuff. Right now we're heading back over to Cyberg. See you guys. Construction update over here. I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed much since yesterday, but see a conglomeration of people over here. Metro Grill has finally opened for the season, even though that red sign in the window still says that it's not open. But yeah, it looks like one of the uh, the menu screens is down. I'm gonna take a quick look at the menu though. I might actually get myself a bacon ranch sandwich, chicken bacon ranch. Those are really good. I might end up getting one of those. First, let's check out Cyborg and the construction going on over here. I just got my soda refilled over at Monchopolis, and it was weird. I went up to one of the freestyle machines to see if it had pip, and it didn't. So I went to the other one, and it said it had it. it, yeah, it said it had it, and I started pouring it. And halfway through pouring it, it just ran out. So I had to fill the other half of my cup with Coca-Cola, but that's okay. It still tastes mostly like pip. And it's cyborg time. Are they raising the sign slowly? I feel like the sign was definitely lower to the ground like yesterday. I don't know, but looks like not much has changed. Still got it on the wood over there. They got the operator panels up and ready to go. Q line still looks about the same. But yes, construction is slowly coming along over there. I don't think they're gonna have it open for Memorial Day, but I'm thinking maybe by early June. It looks like there's an employee out there actually right now doing some work. I don't know what that guy's doing, but he's doing something important up there. But we'll check back next weekend and see what's uh, changed. Since we're over here, I figured I'd give you guys a brief history of this building right here. So currently it stands as the, Le the Lena Luther Science Explorarium. But originally it was actually part of a roller coaster that was in the park from 1996 all the way up until 2007. And that roller coaster was called Batman and Robin the Chiller. And when that coaster was built, the tracks launched out of the station through this observatory or explorarium as it's called now and up into the inversions with a cobra roll and a top hat. And if you want to learn more information about this ride, you can check out, um, you just YouTube it, go on Google. The original station for Batman and Robin the Chiller sat abandoned where Justice League stands today for a long time, actually. It was abandoned up until about three years ago when they demolished that station to make way for what we have now. After Chiller closed, the interior was completely gutted out and retrofitted to become a training center for new employees. I actually got most of my employee training done here in this observatory. And if you guys look closely at the top, you can still see there's a skeleton hand going up the side of the tower. Up on the top there. And that's original. That was part of the, the chiller back in the day. Pretty interesting stuff. I just noticed they, they're missing a lot of the menu here. They don't have any like breakfast sandwiches, and they're missing a couple of the signature sandwiches as well. So hopefully they get a lot of stuff to that too. The Garden State Girls still doesn't make anything else. I ran out of space in the middle of a time lapse and then I deleted iMovie. I got 30 gigabytes just by deleting iMovie. That's crazy. So yeah, now I have plenty of space. Keep recording. The show must go on and I must finish my sandwich. I'm almost done here. Chicken bacon ranch sandwich is really good here actually. I just don't like the tomatoes. I'm just not a tomato guy, you know? 
you know? I work with my boss a lot. My boss is from Staten Island, so I, I end up picking up a little bit of his New York accent every once in a while. But that's okay. No big deal. Got a giant elephant spotting, as well as a giant poop emoji. That's a rainbow poop emoji. Those are pretty rare. Oh. Oh, yeah? Only game I know that has those. Yeah, DJ Man Dude works games here. <laughs> I'm like zoomed in like two times. Hey! Good luck getting it home! <laughs> Every time I see somebody with one of those giant stuffed animals, I just wonder how they fit that in the car. And do they? Like, I've seen it a couple times where people just have it strapped to the roofs. And I talked about this, I actually talked about this earlier in the video today because I keep seeing people with giant stuffed animals. How many of those do you give away a day? Uh, today I didn't give away any. No? Well, what do you uh, have to do to win one? Ring toss, I know. You win, you get them. Uh, block breaker. Okay. Block breaker is like the stacker game where you have to like... Or no, that's uh, one where you throw the... Uh... Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm trying that... to think what else. That's a pretty cool prize though, man. I would definitely pay five bucks to win something like that. Exactly. Well, the thing is, people usually end up spending like 20 bucks on them. No way, really? Yeah, it's because like they play and play and play and then they eventually win. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. Well, I think I'm going to head out for the day. Um, maybe we can ride. You want to ride something together? Is your friend going to come? Yeah, I'm going to message him. See if he's yeah, message your friend because my battery is uh, pretty low right now on my phone. They had a full train of riders right there in Rolling Thunder. All right, that was really fun. We just met up with DJ Man, dude. Nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting your friend, too. Your friend has the same name as me. My name is Sean. Anyway, we are heading out right now. It's a really fun day. Oh, my God. I can't believe we caught a rollback on King Ka again. Like, second week in a row. That was awesome. I'm like, what? How often does that happen? I don't know. I mean, Ka's probably rolling back more now than ever because it's getting older. And uh, my battery is at 1% right now on my phone, too. So I might die before we get out of the park. My phone might die. I might not die. Or maybe I will, I don't know. Anyway, we're heading out right now in a very eventful day. And just like that, we're outside of the park and it's time to end another awesome day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like or a comment. They really do help me out a lot. If you didn't like it, that's okay. You can also dislike the video. I don't bite, it's okay. And uh, yeah, let's get some free Maltesers, I guess. Free chocolate, free chocolate candy. Free Maltesers. Thanks, Kate. No problem. Yeah, free Maltesers. I don't even really like Maltesers. They're, they're okay. I think they're really trying to push Maltesers in America now because in the UK they're pretty popular. So, free. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Peace out, guys. Hey, <laughs> hey.